Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meyer here with a video for you on diatonic modes, otherwise known as church modes. This video will focus mostly on the commonly used modes, those being Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, and Mixolydian. Let's get started. So why are we discussing modes now? Well, in the 20th century, composers began to expand their use of scales outside of the diatonic major and minor scales. They looked back to early tonality and found the church modes could be of some interest. These diatonic collections are actually just a rotation of the piano's seven white keys and their various transpositions as outlined by this chart. So relative, that means sharing the same key signature, relative to C major, Dorian is from D to D, Phrygian from E to E, and so on. You'll notice that when we begin on A, we get natural minor, and when we begin on C, we're back to C major. Locrian mode from B to B is not often used and will not be discussed in this video. The colors of these scales helped composers like Bartok and the Impressionists expand their compositional palette. It's pretty cool. So how can we construct modes without having to go through all of those rotations? It just happens that listeners can experience modes as they are parallel. That means sharing the same tonic. Parallel to major and minor, but with one degree of alteration or a color note. Each mode sounds like the major or minor mode tonic, but has one pitch altered. Once the mode is constructed, you can actually represent it with a traditional key signature based on that altered note, just with a new tonic. Dorian mode, relative to C major, is D to D. Sounds like this. Dorian mode parallel to D natural minor has raised scale degree six or la. So our solfege will go do, re, me, fa, so, la, te, do. Here's an example of Dorian mode by Camille Sanson from La Brise from Mélodie Persen. <laughs> Phrygian mode relative to C major is E to E. Sounds like this. Phrygian mode parallel to E natural minor has lowered scale degree 2 or Ra. So our solfege then becomes Do, Ra, Me, Fa, So, Le, Te, Do. Here's a piece that Bartok wrote from his Microcosmos collection called In Phrygian Mode. Lydian mode relative to C major is F to F. Sounds like this. Lydian mode parallel to F major has raised scale degree four or Fi. So our solfege then becomes Do, Re, Mi, Fi, So, La, Ti, Do. Here's an early example from Chopin featuring a nod to Lydian mode in his Mazurka in C major.
Mixolydian mode relative to C major is G to G. It sounds like this. Mixolydian mode parallel to G major has lowered scale degree 7, or te. So the solfege, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, te, do. Here's another example from Bartok's Microcosmos, this time in Mixolydian mode. Also church or diatonic modes, but you are already familiar with them in terms of their sound, but not necessarily by these names, so that is all we're going to discuss about them in this video. So how can we create a key signature for these modes? Well, we know that they are a rotation of an already existing major key, so we can find a relative relationship, and we know that they sound parallel to some major or minor key but with one alteration so first we're going to write the pitches from do to do on the staff and recall which scale the mode sounds like so we're searching for that parallel relationship adding the appropriate color note either la ra fi or te and now we can observe the number of flats or sharps that we've written and this is always going to correspond to a traditional key signature that we know to double check our work, you can always think of that relative relationship or the rotation under um, the mode that it falls. So for instance, here's the C major rotation. Dorian being from Re to Re. Phrygian from Mi to Mi. Lydian from Fa to Fa. Or Mixolydian from so to so. So if we think about this, if Mixolydian is so to so with no sharps or flats in its key signature, what is the key signature of do or down a fifth? Yes, of course, that's C major, the no sharps and flats key signature. So sometimes you may be able to check your work with this relative relationship as well. Now it's your turn to practice. Construct F-sharp Phrygian and then add a key signature. Recall whether Phrygian is more like major or more like minor and add the color note. Pause the video now if you need more time. You should have found that F-sharp Phrygian is more like minor mode, but with lowered scale degree two. So F-sharp minor has three sharps, but the G-sharp here is removed in order to account for that lowered scale degree two or raw. So your key signature has F sharp and C sharp. That's the two sharp key signature that we know. Here's, uh, let's have a listen to the Phrygian scale here and make sure we can connect the sound with our answer. Finally, you can check your work by remembering that Phrygian is me to me. So doing a rotation relative to Do, that's down a third, you would find that D major also has two sharps. Let's try another. Given this scale, identify the mode based on the tonic and the key signature you see here. Pause now.
you should have found that this scale is like B flat major, except that it has lowered scale degree seven. So that is our B flat mixolydian. Listen to B flat mixolydian and hone in on that lowered scale degree seven. Let's try another one. What is the key signature for A Lydian? Pause now. Remember that Lydian is more like major with raised scale degree four. So we need three sharps for A major and one more sharp for that fee. So four sharp key signature should help us create the rotation for A Lydian. Last one, what are the possible diatonic modes for this key signature? Remember, there are seven rotations, but we're just focusing on four specifically in this video. Pause now. The seven scales are C Dorian, D Phrygian, E flat Lydian, and F Mixolydian. And if you're going for extra points, G Aeolian, a Locrian and B flat Ionian. We have learned a lot about modes in this video. The church modes or diatonic modes from the medieval and Renaissance eras make a comeback in the 20th century. Each mode is a rotation of the diatonic major scale, but it's easiest to compare the modes to the major and minor scale tonics that they sound like with the addition of a color note. Remember that you're always going to use a traditional key signature, but the tonic will be different because we are on a different rotation. Work to memorize this chart here and you will have no problem constructing any mode. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.